Not one Muslim group, not one major Muslim group speaks out against those atrocities. It's as if the Jews deserve it. Nobody pushes back because everybody's so afraid. This could be, at least, or it's shaping up to be the war to end all wars. We had that already, we thought. But this might be different. You look around in some of these major cities, not only around this country, but around the world, and you see thousands of people gathering together in support of monsters. And over and over and over again, these nations scream death to America, death to Israel. Their whole purpose for being is to kill us. Think to yourself what it would take to decapitate somebody whose hands are tied behind their back for the pleasure of doing it, for Allah. You understand how grotesquely inhuman that is? Here's a piece of audio. And I've, I've... I listened to it yesterday, and I, it stuck with me. I can't get it out of my head, the thought of this. The thought of what, what had to be going through the mind of this family, and then the, the absolute horror that this poor baby had to endure before it died. Like I said, this is not easy to listen to. Found a baby in the cooking oven of a, or in a house. The terrorists enter the house... They entered into the house, they took the father, they tied him with his hands behind to the chair. They took the baby from the hands of the mother, put the baby inside the kitchen oven, turn it all the way to the maximal temperature. And while the baby is being cooked, they rape the woman in front of her husband and then they shot them both, and the baby, this search and rescue worker found the, ba- the body of the baby, not only burned, but swollen completely, inside, the, inside the, 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 the oven. How do you side with that? How do you bring yourself to walk with a Palestinian flag down 2nd Avenue, New York City, surrounded by a bunch of pro-Palestinian, pro-Muslim people when they put a live baby into an oven, turned it all the way up, raped the wife, killed her. They ended up shooting both the husband and the wife. You make a, a decision as a human species to eradicate the cancer that is Hamas and Hamas-like groups. This is Nazi stuff. This is worse than Nazi stuff. This is as bad as it gets. So for people who are calling for a ceasefire, for a de-escalation of military action, until every single member of Hamas is killed, There should be no de-escalation. There should be no mercy. 